Hey, y'all. Hey. You know, I just jump right into shit. So, look, the one thing I've been noticing is from that dude, Kevin, and what's the other dude doing that was married and got caught, that was cheating, that was getting everybody relationships advice? That doesn't mean that he's not uh, an expert at relationships just because he cheat. Bitches, the one thing y'all need to know, <laughs> his dick is for everybody. I don't know what the hell the fuck y'all don't be understanding. And, and you is too. Not like that. You know what I mean? Like, Personally, in my own personal opinion, I don't think that we're meant to have sex with one person. I think that y'all can run a course, like, um, sexually to where it's great and good. And that's it. And it can continue to be great and good. But due to the fact of the laws of attraction and how we be attracted to other things, and then if that other person is attracted to you, how you going to go and fuck that other person? Like, it's just... But the one thing I noticed that they've been throwing around is what a high-valued man want. What the fuck defines a man as a high value? Ain't everybody high value? I hope everybody had that type of motherfucking mentality about themselves. Why? Because it's called motherfucking self-esteem. Just because you have motherfucking money, and I'm sure that's where they at with it, but because they 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 have money, and I guess it can offer some sort of luxury or whatever the case. And also, women too, who a high value woman. That, this is what I think that they're saying that the definition of a high value person is. It is because your mind is so manipulated you don't even realize it that it is that money rules every motherfucking thing and that makes everything so motherfucking greater and grander and it does not you know what I'm saying depending on where your mind is at but I think everybody should feel like they, they're high standard wherever, high value wherever the fuck you are in your life like what, what the fuck is, it's called self esteem what the fuck what and whoever is for you is for you. Whoever you vibe with. See, y'all people getting it all fucked up. It's about who you vibe with. Fuck because somebody can give you some motherfucking money, okay? And take you nice places. That is nice. That is who don't wants to do that. But I'm just saying, but that that that's not the the the, the motherfucking arrow to the fucking relationship. Y'all, if y'all not vibing like mentally, spiritually, then I mean what, what what the fuck is it? And you can't communicate? What 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 the fuck? Like you you have absolutely nothing. So stop with this high value shit. Everybody have high value for I hope that people do. Because it's called self-esteem, your shit. And it also starts at home, people. You have to teach your children shit like that. Let them know that they're that they are fantastic, they are wonderful, they can achieve great things, and then they'll go off and they'll do that. Depending on what type of person they are, you know, if they have leaders, you have to have leadership qualities to be able to build certain shit like on your own. Not to say that you can't do it within a company. I'm just saying. But it definitely starts at home. So, but that y'all be they be killing me with that shit. A high value fucking man. Yo, fuck. and then I find like a lot of women who have who have men who have money, like. You know what I'm saying? They ain't necessarily the happiest. I find a lot of people in a lot of motherfucking relationships and not the motherfucking happiness. Why? Because I find that a lot of people get in relationships because they don't want to be alone. Uh, yeah, that, that's just basically it. They don't want to be alone, so they just be with... Not, not this like, no, whomever... But, you know, they meet somebody, they have good sex, whatever the fuck, and then as shit goes on, you start, you realize, like, oh, this person really ain't for me like that, but I'm still going to fuck with him because, you know what I'm saying, he, he, got, he got a piece of change and shit like that. I was in a relationship like that, too. I let this person come in my life, y'all. Don't, listen, listen, uh, don't, man and female, don't you let nobody come in and fuck your whole flow up. Now, uh, my first years here in New York, like, I made my living, which I still do now, but that's that's how I made my living. I was a, I was a dancer. Yes, I used to be an exotic dancer, but after I got off of that, like, I became a professional dancer. I'm training African, Caribbean, ballet dancer, samba, blah, 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 burlesque dancer, right? And that's, how, that's all I did was dance. Met this guy, cool, whatever, liked him, um, but I allowed him to fuck my whole shit up, my relationships with people. Like, I never, when I had a gig, I never showed up late with this motherfucker. Like, no, stay home with me because you ain't got nothing going on. If, if somebody isn't trying to elevate you and see that you have goals and want you to move forward with your goals, why, 
why would you continue to fuck with him? See, but then again, I wasn't taught that. This was something I had to figure out on my own. So let's go for both parties, man and female. If if you got something going on, like a goal that you're trying to, to, to achieve, that you're going to achieve, fuck try, and um, you meet somebody and they be like, no, don't go, like trying to fuck your flow up, bitch. No, that ain't how this work. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is how I get my money. This is how I pay my bills. This is how I do this, how I do that. Like, and, and if they can't see that, fuck them. And I wish I would have known that a long time ago when I was fucking with this dude. Yo, listen. So many people could correct your shit. Another relationship I was in uh, was with a guy. Y'all know my, I go from subject to subject. <laughs> fuck. I'm like, I'm a spontaneous artist, but so, um, met this guy and whatever was with him. Um, uh, and then like the time, like, you know, I still like to work out. I still do that to this day. And, um, I was training. I had a trainer and all that shit. I wanted to be like one of those chicks that do the, that, that kind of bodybuilders, but not like so, like they don't have like a lot of fat on them. You know what I'm saying? And I was, I was, I was getting there. Like I was developing all this shit. I had my chest was sticking out, like you know, because I was developing those muscles and shit like that. And for a little chick, I got a big ass back and shit. Whatever, it's me. I don't give a fuck. And why you don't like me? Keep it moving. That's it. But anyway, so and my my back was all cut up and shit, arms and shit. And so this motherfucker gonna tell me, yo, yo, you look like you starting to look like a man or whatever. See, if you don't have high value about your motherfucking self and your goals and shit like that, and somebody come in your life and tell you shit like that, and the money, they can have their own opinion, that's fu that's cool and dandy. But you have to be strong, like, within your own stance. And at the time, I wasn't strong in my own stance. And also, I didn't come from a home that taught me things like that, to taught me, uh, that taught me to value my own self and to have a high self-esteem um, and to fuck what a motherfucker think about you. You know what I'm saying? And because I felt that this person cared about me and I was like, oh, I'm not being feminine. You know what I'm saying? Like in his eyes. And, you know, as a woman, we feel that we need to. Um, we got to downplay ourselves for a man. Not every case. I'm just like women do like in some cases. Right. And and that's exactly what I was doing in this case, because I was like, I stopped what the fuck I was doing because this motherfucker told me some shit. And you can see the bitch he would. I hope their relationship is great. But I'm just saying. Like, bitch. So, look. Fuck all this high-value shit. Talking about some high-value men. And I know they're associate, associating that shit with with money. And if they not, because I don't really listen to them like that. But, you know, I've, you know, people been talking and heard, like, you know, to the streets. These YouTube streets. Well, fuck, it's talking about shit. Um, but generally, they talking about somebody who got money, man. Fuck all that. If you are not... You have to get on a plane with a person where you're mentally and spiritually fucking connected. We talking about as far as building a relationship. Not so much my young people, right? You know, I know y'all need to make sure that this person... Okay, I ain't talking to my young people right now. I'll talk to y'all another time. But for my adults, if y'all don't have that connection and if you can't communicate, express your thoughts, you should be able well, you do that regardless. Some people can't take you. You know what I'm saying? They're okay, they're trying to move on. And everybody you meet isn't meant to be in your life. That's like that's one thing that people need to understand. And we all want companionship. Yes, we do. We definitely do. And I value people and their relationships and, and, and I value relationships because it's 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 a it's a win win situation. Like as far as family, if y'all have children together, as far as motherfucking building financial wealth together, hopefully y'all both on the same motherfucking plane. And also uh, with the mental, physically, physical, mentals. <laughs> the mental, <laughs> that you're mentally, spiritually, and can communicate as a collective. If y'all ain't got that shit, man, man, listen, man, listen. I be seeing these relationships, I be looking like, I be seeing I don't know. Just find some something that works for you, and be honest, and and, and psychoanalyze these people. People, people tell you who they are without even really saying it. You know what I'm saying? Just, just check them out. 
you'll learn a lot about a motherfucker on some other shit. But anyway, let me know what y'all think about this shit, about this motherfucker with this high value shit and, you know, all this old bullshit. And do and also do you and how do you feel about when you meet somebody as far as building a relationship? Like y'all trying to build something together as a team, as a collective. Do you think that you guys need to be mentally, spiritually, um, emotionally, financially, and physically connected? Now, now, not all of those things are going to be, you know what I'm saying, at 100%. That's why it's a team. You good at this, you can help uh, You help that person out with that. They good at that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's an exchange. Let me know y'all think. Y'all already know what time it is. It's um, real um, intimacy code slash seductress. I have a service called Seductive Arm. My website coming soon. Y'all shut the fuck up. I know. I'm, I've been saying it for a minute. And, um, you know, I'm a designer. The name of my brand is Real Nice. You can check out my fashions at realnice.com. That's R-I-L-L nice.com. And get your shits right there. Get your nice and fly real quick, real quick, real quick. Oh, I'm also a writer. I wrote my first book. It's called Quickie and Seven Short Erotic Stories. I'm going to also put that in the description as well where you can get that. So I think it's, it's $1.99. Um, it's Seven Short Erotic Stories. Um, and also I have an OnlyFans, you know, where I celebrate. What's all about erotic, black erotic, um, black erotica. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I, I take rock of the photos, I write rock of the stories, I show porn, we analyze the shit and talk about it and communicate about the shit. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all have a great one. Peace.